Welcome to my studio. I'm at a very exciting stage of the project where a lot of the preparation work is now complete and I'm getting ready to do the sculptural and the glass work. But the prep work is a very special time because a lot of unique things come and are gifted during this period. So I wanted to show you here on the board. So I've used fiber cement sheeting and I grind it to prepare the surface for the glass and the mosaics. And while I was grinding, all sorts of words begin to come out like miracles, love, truth. And then when I'm done with that stage, I create what they call the harmonic triangle. And that's these lines that you can see. This harmonic triangle is what the masters use for placement in great works of art. So that has been placed on this board. And then from there, I can begin to see where to place the chakras. And you will see I have actually put the Sanskrit symbols for each chakra, and they've been painted in watercolor. They will be covered, so, but it felt a natural thing to place on this piece to have the Sanskrit emblems underneath. And over here you can see this is where I do my meditation before I work on the piece. And today I chose the Tao card. I also want to share some of the beautiful glass that came to me when I went to the glass store. I found glass that I'd never seen before. And so it was very exciting. I had a great time. So here's one of the pieces. This is a ruby piece of glass. And then it's been iridized on this side. Look at that beautiful texture. Just gorgeous. is this vermilion colored glass which has got a mirrored back so there's absolutely beautiful pieces of glass that we can make this creation with I've got a blue one over here as well but this one's got a slight ripple through it as you can see Another piece of beautiful iridized translucent wispy glass. I love also using the wispy glass and I can use it on both sides. You can see the iridized and then can also be done with the plane. I've also got other materials that are arriving from all different parts of the globe <laughs> depending on where they're made. The drawing is nearly complete because I'll be doing one side and then I'll be doing a mirror image on the other. I've completed the lotus, floating on the lotus pad. And as you can see, the water is now in. It's not glued yet. And as we rise, you can see I've done the sculpture work of the DNA helix around the chakras and we rise to the wings. Here we've got the root chakra. And then we have the sacral chakra. And then we're coming over here into the power chakra. We're rising up to the heart chakra. And then here we have the throat chakra. And we have the third eye. And it was a great teaching working on the crown chakra as the glass only really cut well when I was in 
still state of mind and prayerfulness.